That's a yeah. that's the bottom line. Be nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right, well, is that good? Yeah. How was it? Uh, so what is your name and what do you do? My name's Tom. Uh, I am a. I mean, I guess I'm a data technology guy. Uh, <laughs> that's what I spent all of my career doing. Uh, and kind of most recently, I've been working with kind of you know how do you understand consumers uh, through big data and through consumer research. And what do you do? What is it? What do you mean uh, through data research? The uh, <laughs> so I mean I spend I spend most of my days actually you know writing computer programs mm -hmm. and uh, playing around with uh, data sets and artificial intelligence trying to work out how we can do things better. And I heard you had an invention at Oxford. Tell us about that. The uh, so my background was I, I first got a computer when I was like ten years old, uh, and then my parents sent me off to boarding school uh, to try and stop me using computers. And I did a great, great did a degree in physics at Oxford, where uh, there was one uh, one computing thing we did but the supervisor didn't really understand what I was doing. And then I got a job programming computers. So oh. kind of I had 11 years of my life totally wasted, yeah? Uh, yeah? So, you know, my advice would be, you know, don't bother with education, just learn what you can learn yourself. <laughs> uh, the, and when one of the things I did is I ended up making uh, software to process um, X-ray detector emissions on electron microscopes, uh, which sounds a bit like bizarre. But have you ever seen a movie where someone shoots a gun, yeah? And then they compare the gunshot residue on the hand to yeah. the gunshot residue on uh, the body. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that yeah. was uh, one of the first things that uh, I made. Yeah. Really? Uh, wow. And so basically, it used to be a really, really complicated process, and uh, I worked out how to simplify it. Yeah. And so and now I think you know most most cities there's probably uh, an electron microscope somewhere uh, that's used by the police department to do that kind of gunshot residue testing. So how would you how would you make that work? Uh, well, so we already had some smart people who knew how to do the matching, yeah? So basically it was about, you know, there's a chemical signature of the gunshot residue that you get from the, the body, and the chemical signature of the gunshot residue you get from that. Uh, and, you know, matching that is relatively simple, but it was a really complicated process, yeah? Uh, because people didn't have big databases of different gunshot residue, and, you know, it wasn't automated, yeah? yeah? And so what we did is we took that, we kind of productized it, yeah? And yeah. turned it into a simple solution where you went in there, you know, you took the sample from there, you took the sample from there, you put them in, you just quickly match them up and you gave your confidence level of are they likely to be the same? And that was something you could take to court. So you all made it kind of accessible? That's exactly right, that's yeah, exactly yeah. right. That's exactly right. Yeah. Yeah, and then, um, so w what do you do for your work? You were telling me earlier. So I do a bunch of different things. So mm -hmm. the um, the most, the, the one I'm most excited about, there's a company I'm involved in called uh, MX8 Labs. Yeah. Uh, and so basically, obviously for the last three or four years, I've been working with uh, large language models because mm -hmm. they're, they're the kind of, disruptive new technology that yeah, right. we're excited about. And you know, it's interesting. So, you know, MXA Labs does consumer research. And so consumer research is people taking surveys. Yeah. Great way to teenagers to make money by the way. Sign oh, yeah. up for all of these panels, yeah, uh, where you can go and do surveys and you get uh, things. But there are virtually no teenagers on them. People will pay a lot of money to get access to teenagers. Really? Uh, yeah they will. <laughs> that's yeah, they good will. that's good to know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because the point is everyone knows what my generation thinks about things. Nobody knows what your generation thinks about things. Sure. So yeah. actually it's a bit the wrong way around. I should be asking you the questions. Yeah. Because <laughs> everyone knows uh, what I already think. Um, mm -hmm. and so large language models they work really well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but what we're trying to do is work out how you can really apply them. And you know, I kind of think that you know, if you you know, here we are in Cannes Festival of Advertising. You know, Google made everyone an advertiser. You know, have you bought? Uh, right. Have you done any? Have you done any ads on LinkedIn on uh, Google? I don't know if I have. But yeah, maybe you could too. do. But you could do. Yeah, you should yeah. do. You should do. Everyone should run at least one campaign on Google. Yeah. And uh, what MX8 Labs is doing with AI is that can make everyone a researcher. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so you know, it's a it's an order of magnitude faster, cheaper, easier. Yeah. And um, so you know, from a business perspective, what I'm interested in is, you know, how can we help challenge brands like, for example, you know, Allbirds, you know, get the same level of consumer insights as somebody like uh, Nike has got. Yeah. Sure. They can't afford to spend the same, but with AI, they can get the same level I of see. insights the same way around. So that's yeah. that's kind of what I'm really excited about. You know, the technology for these models is now ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But how can we how can we apply them? How can we productize it? How can we do what I did with the gunshot residue systems yeah. uh, in you know large language models in some of these areas? So you mean by researchers, you can kind of any brand could see the same things as sort of the big brands? Yeah, exactly. Sort of dumb down. Exactly. Exactly. Well, I mean, well, without even dumbing down. Or not? Yeah. You know, so I mean, the kind of the kind of stuff that the kind of stuff that brands do is you know they're really interested in what people think about them, what people uh, you know every brand does a brand tracking study, yeah, yeah uh, where they'll talk to thousands of people on a regular basis. Have you heard of my brand? Uh, what do you think of my brand compared to other brands? When would you buy it? Blah, 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 blah. Do you think it's 
good for the environment? Why do you like it? Why do you dislike yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, because people reasons. Uh, yeah. And so, th and then that helps inform the marketing strategy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and obviously, you know, if you're a larger brand, you can spend more. You can get richer insights. Yeah. But actually, with these AI-enabled systems, I think you know the smaller brands can get the same level of insight. And then, um, what's your advice to teenagers who might want to do something uh, in general? <laughs> what's I your mean, advice to teenagers? I mean, I would say uh, my my advice to teenagers. Uh, I've got three three teenagers and a twelve-year-old. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, my general advice would be to. Uh, don't listen to what anyone tells you to do. Yeah, uh, follow your dreams. Work, work out. No, work out how to do things your own way. Right. Yeah. You know, the reality is, uh, you know, when I started uh, work, uh, I didn't have an email address. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and now it's impossible to do business without an email address. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, you know, when you guys are my age, all of the tools that I've been using in my career are probably going to be totally obsolete. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if someone tells you this is the way to do it, they're almost certainly wrong. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and so, you know, really, I would say work out the ways to do it better. Probably work Google. out the way that you can, uh, you know, add value. You yeah. know, All right. well, thank and you be nice much. to people. Yeah. Be nice to people. Yeah, that's a that's so. a bottom line. Be nice. <laughs> yeah.